booktube here is my february march wrap up i'm jen and i talk about audiobooks and i never did a wrap up for february and it is time to do one for march so i thought i would just kind of condense them together I have reviewed all of these books in Friday wrap-ups, so what I'm going to do is link each of those videos down below, and I'll give you a list under each of those links telling you what books are in that video. So that way, if you want to know what I thought more in depth, then you are more than welcome to go click on that link and watch that video. Right now, I'm just going to run down the whole list of books and tell you what I rated them. Starting with Invictus by Ryan Groudon. This is narrated on audio by Maxwell Hamilton, and I gave it four stars. That is YA time travel. Heart to Heart is book two in the Heart series by M.E. Carter. It's narrated on audio by Jacob Morgan, and I gave that one three stars. And that is adult romance. <laughs> Yeah, I always have to think about whether it's new adult or adult, but these people are in their 30s, so that would be adult. Bolden, which is book three in the Heart of Dread series by Melissa De La Cruz and Michael Johnston. I read this as an ebook um, because it is not available on audio, and I gave it four stars. That is YA fantasy. The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Mariana Zapata is narrated by Kelly Dalton, and I love this book. This was a reread for me, and I gave it five stars. That is adult romance. Lucky Number Four by Amanda Jason. I read this in print because I had the book, and I, no, I gave it one star because, no. It, this is new adult romance, and it... it <laughs> To be honest, it just wasn't very well written. So yeah, that one was not good. The Anatomical Shape of a Heart is by Jen Bennett. I also read this in print because it's not available on audio. That was an interesting book. I ended up giving it three stars and that is uh, YA Contemporary. This Mortal Coil by Emily Suvada is book one in her Coil series narrated by Sky Bennett. I, um, had some problems with this one with the narration, but I ended up giving it three stars and it is YA slash new adult sci-fi. Everywhere and Every Way by Jennifer Probst is narrated on audio by Madeline Maybe and Sebastian York. And I really liked this one. I ended up giving that one three stars and that is adult romance. Scythe and Thunderhead, which are books one and two in the Scythe series by Neil Schusterman, are both narrated on audio by Greg Tremblay. Whoa, that narration was so good. This is YA dystopia, and it was amazing. I cannot wait for the third book. I, I know it's coming out this year, but oh man, this was so good. I gave Scythe four stars and Thunderhead five stars. Really good stuff. Suffer Love by Ashley Herring Blake is an, uh, I read as an ebook. I think I have that in hardback. I can't remember exactly. I think I might. All my books are packed at this point. So um, I really liked that. This is YA Contemporary and I gave it five stars. I really liked it. Hooking Up is by Helena Hunting and narrated by Jacob Morgan and Muffy Newtown. Uh, yeah, this one didn't work for me. Although I do like the narrators a lot, I only ended up giving it one star. That was new adult slash adult romance. Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman was narrated by uh, Kathleen McCarran. Um, but I didn't care for her narration because I didn't think it lined up with the character. So I switched over to the ebook and I ended up giving that one three stars. Infraction uh, by Rachel Van Dyken is book two in her Players Game series, um, narrated by Jeremy York, Sebastian York, and Carly Robbins. This book was so funny, so funny. <laughs> Sports romance, really good, four stars. First Frost is by Sarah Addison Allen. It is narrated on audio by Susan Erickson, and it is adult contemporary um although i don't know it's got some ya characters in it they're not the main characters so yeah anyway i gave that one four stars 
The Angelus Guns by Max Gladstone is uh, a short story I read online, didn't understand, probably should go back and read again. I did not rate it for that reason. That one is fantasy, adult fantasy. The Lonesome Young by Lucy Connors is a book I read in print and I really like this one. It is YA contemporary and I gave it four stars. That was a good Romeo and Juliet retelling. That Baby, which is book three in the That Boy series by Jillian Dodd, is narrated on audio by Lisa Cordillion. Oh my gosh, that narration was amazing. I gave this one five stars for its inventive look at a wonderful romance and because the characters are just so fabulous. Um, that is, well, that starts out, well, I would call that new adult contemporary. Yeah, it starts out when they're really young in the first book, but by this book, they're, they're young adults. Okay, My Everything by Heidi McLaughlin is a novella, book 1.5 in her Beaumont series, and I read this as an ebook, and I liked it. It had a little bit of backstory, but it was kind of, I don't know, meh. I ended up giving it three stars. First and Then is by Emma Mills, narrated by Emma Mills, and it is YA contemporary, five stars. Man, that book was good. It was so good. Like I say, YA contemporary. Song of the Fireflies is by J.A. Redmersky, and it is narrated by Chelsea Hatfield and Douglas Berger. I didn't care for this one. Mm -mm. I ended up only giving it one star, and that is New Adult Contemporary. Nemesis, which is book one in the Project Nemesis series by Brand Brendan Reichs, and it is narrated by Kirby Hayborn, Emily Rankin, and Paul Bamer. Paul Bamer is kind of just briefly in there. I love the narration by Kirby Hayborn. I love his narration. Uh, he's one of my favorite narrators. But this, this book is YA fantasy slash sci-fi. I don't know. I just didn't connect with it, really. Um, yeah, I didn't connect with the characters. So, three stars. A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole is narrated by P.J. Auckland and Katie Shore. And the narration was fantastic. Uh, the book was okay. It was new adult contemporary, and I gave it three stars. Not sure if I am a Tilly Cole fan at this point. Maybe. I think I still need to reserve judgment until I read a couple more of her books. Stargirl is by Jerry Spinelli. It is book one of the Stargirl duology, and it was narrated on audio by John Ritter. <laughs> well, narration was fabulous, fabulous. Um, the book was good. It was a good look at bullying, and I ended up giving it three stars. The Fire Between High and Low is by Brittany C. Cherry, and it is book two in her Elements series. It is narrated by Graham Halstead and Emily Wu Zeller. I love both those narrators. I really do. Uh, they are so good. And I liked this a lot. This is a series that my friend Lisa said, you got to read this series because I love Brittany C. Cherry, and she is a good author, I have to tell you. Um, I ended up giving this one three stars. Forever Right Now is by Emma Scott, narrated by Greg Tremblay and Caitlin Kelly. I picked this up because I had listened to Greg Tremblay narrate uh, the Neil Schusterman books. And so I looked him up on, good, on Audible and I kind of went through and picked a book that I thought I might like. I did like it. I liked it a lot. And I ended up giving it four stars. And both that and The Fire Between High and Low are both um, adult contemporary. Obsidio is by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Y'all know that I love this series. This is book three in the Illuminae series, which is YA sci-fi, and it is narrated by a full cast. And I'm going to tell you all of the names of these narrators because these people brought this book to life in an amazing way. And you should hear their names. Olivia Taylor Dudley, Carla Corvo, Jonathan McLean, Lincoln Hop, McLeod Andrews, Aaron Spencer, Andrew Iden, Lisa Cordillion, Matthew Frau, Olivia Mackenzie Smith, Ryan Gazelle, Vikas Adam, Sile Birmingham, Mike Chamberlain, Theodore Chin, Charlotte Cole, Kimberly Farr, Kaleo Griffith, Hilary Huber, J.D. Jackson, David Jung, Dan Zitt, Emily Wu Zeller, Greta Jung, Joshua Kane, Jolene Kim, 
David H. Lawrence the 17th, Nick Martarelli, Donatella Mortel, PJ Auckland, Ray Porter, and Ray Chappelle. Man, was that a good book. It was so good. It was a great end to the series, and I ended up giving it five stars. Everything I Never Told You is by Celeste Ng. It is narrated on audio by Cassandra Campbell. I read this because I was going to see her at a book festival. So I really liked it. I gave it four stars. And that is adult literary fiction, really. Words in Deep Blue is by Kath Crowley, and it is an ebook. And it was interesting because it's set in Australia. I really like that. I don't think it's available on audio. And I ended up giving it three and a half stars. So rounded up to four. Getting Schooled is by Emma Chase. Uh, this is narrated by Zachary Weber and Andy Arndt. I've just got Zach and Andy because <laughs> they are my absolute two favorite narrators for new adult romance. And this was so good. It had just come out and so I grabbed it and I ended up giving it four stars. Rookie Move is book one in the Brooklyn Bruisers series by Serena Bowen. It is narrated on audio by Nicole Zanzarella and Rock Engel. I ended up giving that one three and a half stars. I really liked it. It is new adult contemporary. Wish the accents had been a little more authentic, but it was good. Your One and Only is uh, Adrian Finley's debut novel. It is not yet available in, on audio. It's only available in print. I got this talking to the author, went in and bought the book, came back out and had her sign it at a book festival. And it was really good for a debut. I can't wait for her next book. Gotta tell you, this was um, YA, I guess I call it dystopia. And uh, I gave it four stars. The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill was narrated on audio by Christina Moore. And I got to tell you that this is the best narration I think I've heard all year. It was fantastic, like amazing, so amazing. The story is middle grade fantasy and man, it just was such a pleasure to read. I gave that one five stars. Endurance, A Year in Space, A Lifetime of Discovery is by Scott Kelly. It is narrated on audio by the author since it is essentially his memoir and it was so good. This guy went to space for a year, a year in space. Oh my gosh, I just, and then I got to meet him and I, wow. I listened to a Q&A that he did at a book festival. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, five stars. Most Likely to Score is uh, by Lauren Blakely, and it is book two in her Most Valuable Playboy um, series. It is narrated by Zach and Andy, Zach Weber and Andy Arndt, and I really liked it. This is a sports romance, new adult, and I gave it four stars. After All is by Karina Hale. It is an ebook that I gave one star. I got far enough into it to rate it one star, but no, I DNF'd it. The Perfect Game is by Jay Sterling. It is another ebook that I read. Uh, I gave it two stars. I got it like halfway, a little over halfway through, and then I skimmed to the end, and no, I didn't like it. Waiting on the Sidelines is by Ginger Scott, narrated by Laura Darrell. While I like Laura Darrell, I did not like this book. I gave it one star. This Adventure Ends is by Emma Mills, and I read this in print. Pacifica is by Kristen Simmons. I listened to this on audio and it's narrated by Sonila Nankani, who is Kristen's favorite narrator. This was really fun. It was YA dystopian slash post-apocalyptic and it had pirates. It was really fun. And I ended up giving it four stars. The Glass Arrow is also by Kristen Simmons, also narrated by Sonila Nankani. Great narration, I really liked it. It is YA fantasy, and I ended up giving that one four stars. Rules for Stealing Stars is by Corey Ann Haydu. I read this as an ebook, and I gave it three and a half stars. That is YA contemporary. Queen of Hearts is by Kimmery Martin. It is her debut, narrated by Shannon McManus and Katherine Tabor, which were why I wanted to read this book. This is adult. Not really romance, more like literary fiction, like chiclet. 
and I liked it a lot. I gave it four stars. That is all about two doctors, and Kimmery Martin is a doctor, so really well written. A Million Little Things is book three in the Mischief Bay series by Susan Mallory. It is narrated on audio by Tanya Ebby, and I set that aside for now. Her one and only is book four in the Porter Family series by Becky Wade, narrated by Cynthia Farrell, and also put that aside for right now. These two books, I started in the middle. I need to start with book one in each of those series and read them. And they are both adult romance. My Soul to Keep by Kennedy Ryan uh, is narrated by Kai Kennicott and Wen Ross. Their style of narration is unique and it's really good. So I ended up giving that one three stars. That one is new adult contemporary. Southern Pleasure is Southern Heart, book one and by Kaylee Ryan. It is narrated by Amy Johnson and Joe Arden. And I had already read book three, so I thought I'd go back and start the series. But book one, really liked it. I ended up giving it three stars. And that is New Adult Contemporary. 99 Days by Katie Cotugno is narrated by Allison Ryan. I loved this book. I really did. Uh, I, it's very controversial in terms of, I mean, a lot of people like it, a lot of people hate it. So either you do one or the other, you know, you love it or you hate it. But I loved it, so I gave it four stars. That is YA Contemporary. And Sweet Cheeks by Kay Bromberg is by Andy and Sebastian, Andy Arndt and Sebastian York. Um, I ended up giving this one three stars. It is um, adult contemporary, and I, I thought it was really sweet. And that is all of the stuff that I read in February and March. You know, as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts, uh, especially if you've read 99 Days. Mm. A lot of people thought a lot of things about that book. Mm. Uh, but I would love to hear your thoughts if you've read any of these books. So let's talk about all that in comments. And that's it for now for me. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.